Hi, this is Pastor Dominic. I want to quickly ask you a question. Have you ever been in a place where you just don't know? You just don't know the answer? You just don't see the solution to the problem? You just don't know when the breakthrough is going to come? We've all been there from time to time. And to a certain degree, we're all still in such a position. It happens. It's a normal part of life to go through seasons, to go through days where you just don't know. Now, if you're anything like me, I want to know the future. I want to be in control. I want to have a plan. I don't want to be caught off guard. But I want to tell you when it comes to the scriptures, oftentimes God will put us in a place where we don't see the future, but we've got to trust him that he will make a way. We don't see the answer. We don't know when the breakthrough is going to come, but we've got to put our trust in him. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 says, We walk by faith, not by sight. In other words, we go by what we hear in our spirits by faith and not by what we see. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by God's word. So if we're going to walk by faith, that means we're going to have to go by what God tells us, either by the spirit or by his promise in his word. And this oftentimes is going to mean that we can't buy into what we see because we know what we hear or what we know by faith is greater than what we see. So maybe today you are in a position and you want in answers and it feels like your prayers aren't being answered or you just don't know when the breakthrough is going to come and now you're starting to get discouraged. It is not by chance that you're listening to this message. I've come to encourage you and tell you It's okay that you don't know. It's okay not to know. And it doesn't mean that you don't have faith. But it could very well mean that God is busy teaching you to have more faith. He wants to take you to a new level in your faith. And I've realized with my walk with God, the higher I go in my ministry, the deeper I go with my walk with God, the more God is demanding me to trust him and not to go by what I see. Now, in the book of Genesis chapter 22, the Bible tells us that God spoke to Abraham and he said to Abraham that he must go offer up his son Isaac on a mountain. It was a three-day journey away. So the Bible says that Abraham took Isaac and he went with Isaac to Mount Moriah. And as they were traveling, Genesis chapter 22 verse 7 says that Isaac asked his father Abraham, Father, I see the wood, I see the fire, but where's the sacrifice? And Genesis chapter 22 verse 8, Abraham answers and says, God will provide. In other words, Abraham was basically telling Isaac, I don't know how, I don't have the answer, but one thing I do know. God will provide. Eventually, they get to the top of the mountain. And there, Abraham ties down Isaac. He's obedient to what God told him to do, to offer up the one and only son that he loves. His one and only covenant son that he loves. And as he ties down Isaac and he's about to sacrifice Isaac, an angel from the heaven tells Abraham to stop. And then, all of a sudden, Abraham's eyes catch in a bush a ram caught in the thicket and the bible says he went and he took that ram and offered up it in place of isaac now the thing about rams and mountains they don't travel so high up into a mountain so this was a supernatural a miracle for a ram to be that high up in the mountain And when Abraham realized this, he realized that God had actually provided the ram in place of Isaac, which would become a picture of Jesus being offered up in our place as a sacrifice on the cross for our sins. So this was a type and shadow of what would come at the cross. But nonetheless, Genesis chapter 22 verse 14 says that Abraham called that place Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. It was at that place where he saw the hand of God. It was at that place where he saw God provide. And I know you need to know God as Jehovah Jireh. I know in my heart as I'm speaking to you right now, you need that revelation. 
But I want to tell you, oftentimes you're going to have to be obedient even though you don't see how it's going to happen. Even though you don't know how it's going to take place. You don't know how that wayward child is going to come to salvation. You don't know how God can restore that relationship or how breakthrough is going to come in that marriage. You just don't know how your finances are going to pan out or how that symptom is going to disappear. But I've come to you today to tell you, even though you don't know, that's okay. Keep trusting God. Know him as Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, your provider. He will provide the healing. He will provide the breakthrough. He will make your crooked path straight. Before Jesus ascended up to heaven in Acts chapter 1, the Bible says that the disciples came and asked him questions about his second coming, when he would return, when would all these things take place that he had prophesied. And Jesus said something in Acts chapter 1 verse 7. He said this, he said, it's not for you to know. It's not for you to know the times and what the Father has decided in his authority. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you go to Jerusalem and wait for the promise from the Father, which was the Holy Spirit. What Jesus was saying in effect is there's certain things God has decided that he has ordained that will happen at the right time. He has already set a deadline to certain things. And it will happen as he decided. But it's not for us to know. What we are to do is to do what he has told us. And we are to serve him and to follow him. I've come to tell you today, if God had to show you everything, if God had to show you how everything would work out in your life, then why would you need faith? Because you would actually see everything's going to work out. Everything's going to pan out. Everything's going to be okay. In fact, there's scripture for that. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. So oftentimes God has to keep back the details and not show us how it's all going to happen so that we are still dependent upon him. That we go deeper in prayer. That we worship the Lord more and more. You see, this is what faith is all about. Why would you need faith if you've got all the answers? So maybe today you don't know how, you don't know when, but I've come to encourage you. That's okay. God does. Just keep a good attitude. Just keep trusting God and the rest will work out. May you have a wonderful day and may God richly bless you.